Welcome to my channel. My name is Benji Travis and today I'm cooking one of my family's favorite dishes, lasagna. After lots of research and feeding this recipe to them in different variations for over like the last few years, I've come up with the best lasagna recipe. So let's get right into the ingredients. It's split up into three different sections and the meat sauce is first. So for our proteins, we're using some beef. We're using some mild Italian pork sausage ground up. Also, I've got some onions, which I sliced in a mandolin and then minced up with a knife. We've also got some pressed garlic that I prepped so it's nice and easy to integrate. And of course, some pasta sauce. I'm just using a bottle. This is super easy and convenient. Nothing wrong with it. And this is one of my favorites. It's Rouse from Costco. All right, so for the white sauce, which does take a little extra effort, but it's absolutely worth that muscle and time that it takes because this is what makes this lasagna so delicious. So let's get into the bechamel sauce ingredients. So first off, we've got the flour. We've got the butter, make sure that's room temperature. We've got some milk, and then I shredded up some Parmesan cheese. And lastly, the stacking ingredients. We've got some mozzarella cheese that I've also shredded up, and then I uh, boiled some pasta uh, to get it ready to bake in the dish in the oven. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get to cooking because this does take a little bit of time, but it's absolutely worth it. First thing you're gonna do is get a large pot or Dutch oven to start cooking up your meat sauce. Medium high heat, you're gonna warm up your pot, drop some olive oil and throw in your meat. Crank that heat up on high. I like to cook the beef and pork separate for proper browning. If your pot is big enough, cook up both. Once it's brown, go ahead and remove your meat and put it off to the side. Keep the heat on and some more oil in the pan. Toss in your minced onions and cook it for a few minutes to soften. Once you see slight browning, go ahead and create a space, add some more oil, and then add your garlic and Italian seasoning. Let that simmer in the oil for 30 to 60 seconds, but don't let it burn. So letting the garlic and the Italian seasoning actually cook up in that olive oil is gonna help bring out some of those flavors. So it's really important that you do this and you don't just toss it in without doing that step. Go back and stir all together for a minute or so. Then add back your meat to the mix. Keep stirring until it smells amazing and cooked through. At this point, I gradually add my pasta sauce little by little. Put as much as you want till you get the right consistency. Not too chunky, but not too runny. It's all about balance. All right, so don't tell the Italians, but yes, I square a little bit of this in here. Ketchup, any ketchup will do. This just helps with a little bit of that sweetness. All right, so the meat sauce is done. I've moved it over to the side and it's on a low simmer. Make sure you keep stirring that and paying attention to it. Right when it hits that right flavor, you can actually turn it to the lowest setting. I've also put the milk into a small pot and I've turned the heat on low. I just wanna get that warmed up, not too hot. You definitely don't want to boil it. And now it's time to make the bechamel sauce. Once warmed up, toss in the butter and raise the temperature slightly. Once the butter is bubbling, you will add the flour. Mix thoroughly into a clump. Remove the power pan from the heat slightly and then add your milk quarter by quarter. Keep stirring as you add slowly. Don't stop stirring and gradually move the pot back to the burner. Keep doing this until the milk is added and you have a silky smooth sauce. So this bechamel sauce is looking awesome. I've got a little bit of milk left. Now what's really important is that you don't ever leave this sauce. You've got to always be paying attention. Scrape the sides, scrape the bottom, make sure it doesn't scorch or burn. And if you're cooking your meat sauce still, make sure you are constantly stirring that. Ideally, you want to do these at separate times, but for the sake of time, I'm doing both at the same time. But you want to keep your eyes on your bechamel for sure. At this point, lower the heat to the lowest setting. Slowly add some of the salt and white pepper. Add to taste until you get the right flavor. Then slowly add your Parmesan. At this point, you can turn off the heat as you're mixing in the cheese. So this should taste amazing, smooth, and definitely cheesy. All right, so my meat sauce, done. My bechamel, whoo, done. Got my pasta ready. I've got my mozzarella cheese. 
it's time to stack. But first, make sure you preheat your oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and then we'll stack our lasagna. Go ahead and get a baking dish and put some of the meat sauce at the bottom. Spread it around and then stack your first layer of pasta. Once the pasta is spread out, go ahead and pour on your bechamel sauce, sprinkle on some mozzarella cheese, and repeat this again. I like to do this two to three times. On the last layer, make sure you switch up the sauce and the bechamel. So you're gonna put the pasta sauce first, and then the bechamel, and then put the cheese on top so you can get that nice brown golden crust at the top. Boom! The lasagna is done. Now all we need to do is bake it. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover it up with this foil, throw it into the oven for about 40 minutes, uncover it, and then broil the top and we're good to go. All right, so this is done. It's perfectly brown. It's got that golden color, but some of that charring, because that's where the flavor's at. Woo! Whoa! Whoa, Nella. Look at that. Wow. All right, so you're gonna wanna let this sit for about 10 minutes to let everything settle, and then you can slice into it. There you go, lasagna is done. It's been resting for well over 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna finally taste it. But if you guys like this video, hit that like button, comment below when you're gonna cook this for your family. And uh, yeah, let me taste test it right now. The moment of truth. Mm. Oh man. Honey, you hungry? What? Mmm. Mmm.